seem to have got away without a shower so far. Fingers crossed. It's been a it's been a good day of cricket so far. Very lucky to have a full game, a full game early on, and even now it's been dark clouds over us so the whole game, and we still have had a full game. And, it, and if it were to rain right now, uh, we've already constituted a game because it takes eight overs to constitute a game. And I'm pretty sure it's, the victor will be oh, very simple right now. Yeah, you don't have to be uh, Pythagoras to uh, or Mr. Duckworth Lewis, Duckworth or Lewis, to see that Joe Berger are in a commanding position in this game. Goinka just haven't been able to keep up with the required run rate. Uh, they've tried, but haven't perhaps had the quality or range of shots perhaps they'll um, enjoy themselves a bit more against the spinner when the spinner comes on so that'll, that'll be interesting to see but for now it looks like we're continuing with pace if you look at recent T20 games um, usually 126 isn't such a big total but uh, with the with the outfield and the conditions in the outfield, you'd feel the batsmen under pressure with such a, a big total. And the way they started the run chase, it's it's not ideal. Or how they would have wanted to start the game. Just turn that behind square on the leg side. Think about two. This could be risky though. Right. Home comes to be enough in the end. Yet again, another disappointing throw from the fielder. We're going to have them back for a throwing session, eh? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good ball. Just had him lurching forward, but beats the edge. That's a great delivery. It uh, looks like it just swung a little away from the batsman and uh, that had him all sorts of trouble. <laughs> batsman taking a bit of time to steady himself, but the bowler's in now. The umpire, and uh, that's driven to a very mid on run. for a single slight misfield. Some good running in between the wickets. Now, Gwenka will be happy as long as they can take the quick singles. Now, huh? yeah, it's interesting to see how they play this now because clearly they are way behind the run rate. And uh, obviously, if they are going to overhaul this target, they will one of these players is going to have to go on the attack. And However, like in, doing that, in doing that, of course, um, they may fall victim to a few more wickets and um, lose by a considerable margin, but go down fighting. Or the alternative approach would be to just play, play normally and, and, and see how close you get. But it doesn't get you into the final, of course. <laughs> and as you were saying, um, it's going to be interesting how they're going to play the spinners and the spinners on now. So it's going to be quite interesting. It may be that they were they were waiting to see off those pace men and and have decided that if they are going to win this game they're going to have to do a full on assault for the spinner. But you know, psychologically for a spinner, it's difficult someone taking you on. But then again, it does give you opportunities because the batsman is taking risks. Uh, if you vary your flight well, um, bowl with a bit of variety, keep the batsman guessing. Opportunities to get some quick wickets. So it's going to be an interesting passage of play. So Adrian's coming around the wicket, uh, bowling some 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 spinners, some off spinners. South African uh, at uh, first class and test level, at least, uh, haven't been known for producing many top quality spinners. Get the feeling that the pitches generally favour the pace bowling. Yes, um, actually, even in the most clubs, as in as in uh, club cricket level, the the conditions generally suit seamers more than spinners so it's actually hard for a spinner to get used to the conditions so ball to start off on the leg side stopped by the minute 45 
the uh, spinner in the national team, of course, Imran Tahir, is uh, originally from Pakistan. That's turned uh, nicely through a uh, square leg for a single. The ball doesn't seem to be turning because his ball is a leg stamp line and the batsman is still playing it at the same same line and length, so it doesn't seem to be turning a lot. Found a, found a good length, though, early on. Uh, obviously, spinning uh, at this pace, you can't afford to pull the length back. So, um, good to see settling into a good good length. And I was impressed with, with this young player when I saw him in the last game. It's very interesting, it's actually peculiar that there's no slip and they're born into a new batsman. It's driven, but uh, fielded off his own bowling. Yeah, you would have thought um, with this kind of cushion, he could perhaps have a, a slip or even a another close in fielder. That has gone a little bit short and has been powerfully hit past square leg. And that is only the first boundary we've seen today from Cuenca. Just a sort of slog sweep, wasn't it, really? Uh, got a good connection. And even though there was a fielder backward of square, couldn't get round. One of those ones when you're a square leg umpire and a, a player shapes to play that. <laughs> you have to sometimes played. have a bit of a dance to get out of the way. It's another shot, so another uh, hit way over the. That's a six. Long one field, and that is six runs. And they are taking the spinner. And it's actually interesting because there's another spinner warming up. Nice to get the odd thing right, isn't it? <laughs> Well, to be fair, they, they had no option really because they were slipping a long way behind the required run rate. So um, th there's no point really playing the game out. The, the purpose of this game is to get into the final, um, pure and simple, and you've got to make as m much effort as you can to get there. That's a bit of a leading edge, um, fielded by the bowler. So, yeah, yeah difficult first over for, uh, for Adrian. Settled into a good line, but there was then taken on and uh, be a good... 11 runs off it and a good test of character for next over to see how he comes back well we saw that spinner warming up and it was interesting to see if the captain was going to ball spin after that uh, not so good over for spin and he hasn't he's decided to go to, uh, back to his seamers and try and pile the pressure back on so that raised the spirits of going through a bit that last over uh, particularly that towering six uh, quite a big boundary so um, got a powerful hit and uh, they were slipping behind and, uh, I think from a neutral's point of view it'd be good to see Goink have a, have a good go at this target from your point of view of course you want it wrapped up as quickly as possible but uh... and um, as you can see Sadek is now warming up um... <laughs> he's going to be pulling around the wicket to the left hander 47 for 2 off 9 this is the last over before the mid innings interval be a good chance to assess where this game is going can quite often be a dramatic over actually the one before the interval both teams want to go go in to that interval on a positive note uh, I think the batsman will, will be okay if they can just play the over I'll just get 3 runs maybe just get to the 50 mark and just go to drinks with two wickets down that'll be that'll be good for the batting team. On the other hand, the bowling team would love a wicket, yeah. As that would just change the coach's talk at the drinks break. It's pulled behind square, going out towards the boundary. And I think we'll see the umpire signal, he does. And that's the fifty round that comes up for the The little team. injection of impetus continues. Why, drift me off! Drift me off! <laughs> so now 76 runs required of 65 balls. The equation has just gotten better for them. Good two overs so far for them. 
Yeah, they've, uh, they they were looking in a in a, day, in a precarious position, but these last two overs have have been profitable. That would not that would not help Joe at all. That's a wide delivery down the left side. Sahil, rip me up, rip me up. And now the pressure shifts. To be interesting to see how JCC will handle the pressure. And that is top edge over the keeper, going down towards the boundary and makes it as well. It's another four. And that is a no ball. A uh, no ball as well. Is it a front foot? Is it front foot free hit or not? Or far? Hasn't signalled a free hit, has he? No, he hasn't. Nevertheless, there's 21 rounds of the last eight balls. Gwenko will be really happy about that. GCC just losing their way a little bit right now. That's a better delivery. Changed his line. Yeah, good length there. Just um, defended. <coughs> just having, uh, just having a Polo is just having a little bit of trouble with his line, so changed his angle. And he's still pulling down the leg side. And the fielder gives up the chase. It's four more runs. That's well timed actually, just played it right under his eyes and uh, good connection. And this is uh, some slightly worrying signs for Joburg after being in control around the fifth, sixth over. And uh, to be fair to Goinka, they recognised that the required run rate was going up and uh, they've taken a few chances. But also I would say that um, Pratik was quite a one-dimensional player. And uh, with this pair now at the crease, they've got more scoring options around the wicket, and that's helped them. And it keeps on bowling the same line, and that is, if I'm not wrong, 29 runs so far. So it's really been a protective spell for the Cuenca batsman. Yeah, it's, it's really set it up, set up for an interesting finish, actually, because at one point I thought that uh, Joe Berg might might just steamroll them a bit when they were sort of 30 odd after 5, 6 overs but now the score's racing ahead and uh, it's going to be set up for an interesting finish in the second in the, in the second half of this innings and I think it's going to be uh, interesting to see what, what your coach says to his team at the interval unless of course they could get a wicket in the last few deliverers and a chance for a wicket just ball goes down safely he's in the two fielders and that is a Chance of a run out. Not the best of throws into the keeper's gloves again. Two runs. So that's just a, a, a lofted. I think it probably went squarer than he intended. It just sort of uh, went over the top of extra cover. A point came round to field. So worrying two overs for Joe, but for both the, play, the captain and the coaches. And in your case, commentators. Well, just lost his run up there. It's to the sun now poking through the clouds. And uh, the sun glinting off the masts. Lovely sight. It's uh, just worked off his uh, hip. Yet again, as you can see, he's still struggling with his line. The bowler, the one was just short straight at his body. Played away for a single, and there's the drinks break. So, late flurry of runs uh, for Goinko has set the game up very interestingly, evenly poised now. 68, and halfway for, stage. And for the first time in this game, the run rate has just gone below six. We'll uh, now have a short break and we'll pick the commentary up again when the innings resumes.
Welcome back. Okay. Be an interesting few overs here. If we see whether Gordon could continue, that could oh, close to slipped out his bat foot as he looked to drive that, but uh, got back in time. And a no ball. Can you acknowledge the? There was a big momentum swing just before the interval with uh, those boundaries from Goinka going after both the spinner and the fast bowler. It was a, it's a good ball. Seemed like the talk has just helped a bit. It's just bought three decent deliveries. Got a G up from the coach, no doubt. And there is a run out chance and doesn't pick up the ball the first grab. Uh, I get the sense that uh, you haven't been too impressed by the fielding of your team today. Certainly not. Especially the ground fielding. We understand that you know it's a pump yard field. It can be tough to grab the ball. But then hasn't been pleasing. Give the wicket here, Joe Berg. Powerfully swept in front of square, be cut off and just one run. So just two rounds of this over so far. Interesting facts about Adrian. Before the last game, um, since was it March? Yeah, since March, he, he's got in a wicket in every ball, uh, in every over his ball, he's got in a wicket. Up until the last. I was going to say every ball he'd be in the South African team, wouldn't he? <laughs> no. Okay, that's that's a nice little uh, late cut, little dab. Well, three rounds off the over. Both teams will feel like it's a good over for them. Awesome, that was one more delivery. And that is a kind of a cut. Squirted off the edge for a single. It was a great throw. Unfortunately, the batsman was in South Africa at that time. So, at the end of the 11th over, the score is now 74 for the loss of two wickets. I haven't seen a game uh, that I've covered anyway in, the, in this tournament that's gone to the last over yet. Just wonder whether this might be the one that does. We'll see. It's uh, ebb and flow to the game. Um, Joe Berg seemingly in control after five or six overs. Um, and uh, Pratik was uh, struggling a bit with uh, his, his lack of offside play. And uh, since he's fallen, been a flurry of runs. And Joe Berg need to come up with some answers pretty quick and they've gone back to the one bowler who's bowling pretty well to Pratik and they'll be hoping they'll they can maintain those two bats when having quite a great, great partnership Cut shot, but um, doesn't catch up with it. And uh, and the equation now comes: um, uh, they need 53 runs and a run a ball. So it's going to be quite an interesting match. And could, the be a, could be a wide. Yeah, just uh, too wide outside of stump on that occasion. As the bat's been shaped to cut and then couldn't reach the ball. It's often at, at times like this actually where obviously Joe Berg under some pressure where a coach sees how these players react, who, who's got the, the inner strength, who, who can keep calm under pressure. So as long as a team comes through a game like this, it can actually be a positive thing. Well, obviously they have to come through it. <laughs> uh, a team that, that wins um, comfortably all the time, maybe 
players aren't put in that pressure position. So, all part of a cricketer's education. That's a nice shot. Nice Down nice the shot. ground. Gone through. And the single. The question now 51 or 51. So, it should be easy for the batting team. Run the ball. Well, I, th I think uh, easy if these two stay in because they're seeing the ball well. Um, break this partnership. We've seen a pattern emerge in this tournament as a whole. Uh, one wicket has gone down and a couple of others have followed quickly. So uh, I think that's the key for Joe Berg. But it, difficult for a captain in, in this situation to judge. Clearly they need a breakthrough. But also 51 or 51, they can't afford flowing boundaries. So it's that balance between defence and attack that can be quite difficult to get right went for an uppercut uh, it's no ball oh, but for a bit. front foot no ball and still no signal for free hit <laughs> I'm not sure that was a front foot no ball though perhaps it was a no ball for but then it would have been a wide interesting anyway certainly no ball that's um, no run there. Do you think we'll see spin after this? Is Adrian the only spinner in the, in the team, or is there some other spin options? Well, there are actually three spinning options in the whole okay. team. There's our Adrian, and the opening batsman, Pumi, and Shavon, who you didn't get to see bat today. And that is a good shot. Well placed and might get two to runs, but the best was not away. To the other batsman wasn't interested. Well, he's batted well so far. He's made 30 runs and he hasn't looked troubled the whole day. Makes you wonder why Pratik comes in in front of him. Pratik seems to could potentially be a useful um, boundary hitter at maybe eight or nine. Um, but I'm not sure he's got the all round game f for the top order. But there we go. I guess maybe it's slightly different in 2020. Uh, attempted cut, but uh, misses. Well taken by the keeper. Good finish to the over for Joburg. 77 for 2 of 12. I think we could be set for an exciting stroke nervous finish this game and they've come back to their spinner Adrian batsman asking for something not quite sure what Sure, what that's about, but <laughs> hopefully, we're soon set to resume. Looks like we are, and that is here on the off. Good sense for the bowler, give one run. Looks like it was a missed time drive, just slightly played it early and hit it on, on the up, but fortunately enough just, just the one run. Where is this breakthrough going to come from from Drobo? Which bowler can come up with the trick? Will it be a batsman error? That's uh, cut powerfully, but straight to the man. And just a single. So currently great batting from the from Cuenca. <coughs> Two singles, so we'll get them to the total very easily. Will be thinking. It's a dog ball. A wicket can come several different ways, of course. It can come through an, either an outstanding delivery or a batsman error, or potentially just by bowling very, very tightly, drying up the run rate and forcing an error that way. Now that's a nicely played. Just waited for the ball, ball. use the pace. Went through for the single no ball as well. So is that a front for no ball? It is. Got the signal for the hit. free hit. Always exciting for the fans. 
Actually, I, I've seen four free, free hits um, on commentary in this tournament. I think I've only seen one of them gone for four. Yeah, and it was the one uh, against Joba. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what the delivery was. Interesting in a free hit that someone gets bought off the boundary. <coughs> Unusual. On his top edge there. Keeper ca drops it. Keeper dropped it. Wouldn't have made any changes anyway. Yeah, if you're going to drop one, you might as well drop one on the on the no ball on the free hit. Get it out of your system. Like it's just tickled that fine, and uh, we'll think about two. And they get sent back. Yeah, I think that would have been out if he'd gone with that. Yeah, some wind start picking up again. But still a bit of sun. Face, run it down, third man, but uh, didn't make a connection. Score. 83. 83 of 13. <coughs> and, the new, and there's a new ball of bowling, Olin. Yeah. Doesn't wear a, a yellow hat, I notice, and a yellow helmet when he bats. Well, to Nolan's a part uh, of a possible. So a bit of a bit of a chat here between the bowler and, and, the, the, and the captain, just uh, working out where they're going to bowl. I think the captain will know that they need a breakthrough pretty soon. Well, if you look at recent history, uh, the, uh, the bowler Dinolin has bowled really well to to left handers. So probably the reason why they brought him on. Because this is not a, a regular ball, it's just balls uh, now and then. So. Partnership breaker, perhaps. And they do need to break this partnership. <coughs> uh, it's, like, it's, it's more like uh, you know, Malinga. Balls, 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 the things. Balls like Malinga, wow, he should be a regular bowler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a lot of variation between them, it's like slow balls, the bounce okay. and everything. We'll see what he's got. And start off I think one he might wide start with a wide. Probably need to grip the ball better. <laughs> so is this a bit of a go for broke uh, move by the captain? And just ball that one onto the batsman's path. Yeah, it's played off just behind square. Go for a single. <coughs> Quite a lot of tension now amongst the Joburg fans and coaches. They are, they are reigning champions of this tournament and they are in danger of falling at the semi final stage unless they can break this partnership. Toes. Nicely judged actually. Think about two because he just took the pace off the ball and that's well batted. Just saw that the fielder was deep and uh, just played it with soft hands, giving them time to return for the for the second. 
So as you can see, the batsman really is just going con conservatively with this run chase so far, and it's just working well for them. Just uh, had those couple of big overs, didn't they, just to get the run rate back to manageable, and now they're just rotating the strike. It's a nice looking stroke. Just the one run? Just the one run, but uh, very nice stroke. Well timed. We can see the top of the mountains again, well, one of them anyway. That's a Work that behind square on the leg side again. We've seen that a lot in this chase. And that back for two, this could be close. That is out. That's gone. And a lot of cheers. wonder the why they did took the second on there. They were. Uh, not under any pressure at all. They were knocking down this target quite comfortably, this pair. And a lot of cheers from the crowd. And uh, Joburg coaches clenching the fists on that. They know how important that wicket could be. And will this be... Will this be a pivotal change in this game? Or, or will the next batsman come in and continue where they left off? That's the question. We'll find out over the next couple of overs. Uh, if you've just joined us, we're in the second uh, semi-final and uh, one of these two teams will be playing Jane School from India in the final tomorrow afternoon. Uh, it's turning into quite a tight finish and we've just seen after a long partnership, didn't seem to be in any bother at all, took on a whiskey second. Uh, quite a good throw, which has been unusual in this innings. There, There's not been too good fielding. Uh, but they got the breakthrough and we see whether they can prize one or two more out and get back in control of this game. <coughs> the real crucial thing here will be to board up also the new batsman because they've gotten the one wicket that they needed but then it won't, uh, it won't help them if they're going to ball, if they're going to get a wicket and then they ball, you know, um, boundary ball to the new batsman. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to back it up after the the, the game of cricket for those of you who maybe are not so familiar with it it's a game about pressure actually and uh, can the batting team and the bowling team bowl to their plans under pressure it's all very well talking about it in practice and in training but in a match situation uh, ambitious OW <laughs> shout there and as you were, uh, and you asked me earlier on where the wicket is going to come from and it's actually come from the field so, so far, no golden arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wonder why they went for that too. They, they, they were cantering towards victory, those two. Just a bit of indecision between the batsmen. It might just cost the team. But they're only three down, so they should have some more batting depth to call on. So Joburg will need to bat that wicket up with one or two more. That uh, looks a good shot, leg side. That's gone for four out. Yeah, he's just leaving it back with a square. and uh, It's gone for four, so... Goinka coming up into the 90s now. Chasing one, two, seven. Going to four after 14 overs. Probably favour Goinka from here if you're a neutral. It's quite an easy, it's an easy question for them. They need 33 or 36 balls, so it should be quite easy. But easier to say that in our position than there on the field, where they might have to be battling some nerves. They'll know that the hopes of their team and supporters, family back home, are resting on them. And you have to absorb that pressure to enable your, your natural ability to, to come to the fore. So 
bit of a chat between uh, Bowler and Captain now. Adrian again, I think. Yeah, I'm spoiling his last over. Is he going to hold this back or is he going to fire it through? Fires that one through a bit. It's a good line and length. Just get the feeling that there might be a couple of half chances that Joburg will need to take here. That's well played. Just use the pace of the ball, get it fine of backward point. Okay, one run, take the single. <coughs> well, Adrian's pulled well so far in this tournament. This is, well, not his best game so far in the tournament, and that's a better one. <laughs> it's a good ball, just uh, up in the block hole. A lot of flag in that ball, and just dipped on the pass one, and it was good joker. Powerfully swept in front of square, picked up only a single. So just the one round so far on the over. Yeah, five balls, uh, five balls balls. Dabbed, I think I'll call that. Um, just in front of square leg for a single. That's all they need, actually. They don't. They don't need to go berserk. If they can keep rotating the strike, put the odd ball away for four, they'll. So they'll get there. One. He said that hard, and it's gone for a maximum. Shouts will catch it, but. Um, doesn't make any difference if you catch it over the rope, does it? So the hundred comes up for for Cuenca and with the last five overs, they need less than thirty runs. So Cuenca in control now, and uh, been impressed by how they assessed the situation. They knew they were behind the run rate around the fifth or sixth over mark. They took a few risks to had a couple of overs which went for 10 or 12 or so brought the run rate back into under control then there was that long partnership broken by that rather needless run out going for the two uh, there's now a search on for the ball in knee or waist high grass so we're going to have a, a, a brief pause while we see if we can find this ball so now just 23 runs needed now. And 30 balls. So uh, the Goinka coaches and team will be counting these down. And Joburg will be hoping that they can force an error or perhaps a golden spell by one of these bowlers. It's going to be difficult for them to win here. They are the, the reigning champions, of course, having won last year, and they are playing in front of the ambassador. But it's looking to be a bit of an uphill struggle now. So the captain has decided to ball himself, yeah? There's five overs and 23 runs needed. Spring pressure on himself, the captain. Interesting to see how it is. Uh. We have a deep square leg who... I just get the feeling that there's going to be going to be a half chance here. Joburg will need to take what we shall see. Men on the boundary deep, but there isn't. Oh, there is actually. There is a man deeper. Uh, well, quite a wide long on. There isn't a long off, so there's a gap over there. So 103 for three. And first ball, the double on the offside. Just attempted to steer that down, but didn't catch up with it. As you can hear, a lot of support from the, from the South African fans. I was wondering uh, when we'd hear that. Generally with Grant around, you, you hear it about every five minutes. 
And another double. Same again, just trying to dab it down to third man. Um, not making contact. Uh, I'm thinking the ball is actually using that because he's trying to play the, exactly the same shot and he's missing it. As you can see, the fans. Um, There's actually a fielder in there for that anyway. So, uh, interesting. Yeah, the fans encouraging Chobok. You can see them on there. That's the Saheti team on your screen now. Yes, um, they finished eighth in the competition today. Lost their playoff game. But uh, good to see them coming down to support their countrymen. They do need some inspiration now, Joe Berg. Yeah. Nah, that's a wicket. That's a uh, good decision from the captain. Look at that. He is jubilant. Fist pumping. And the ball Two dot off. balls. And then uh, you miss, I hit. Could that just be a glimmer of hope for Joe Berg? That is a... Uh that is just uh, Joe Cricket Club we're giving them a better chance of winning this game they've picked up two wickets it's crucial wickets for Joe Cricket Club and now the equation oh, still quite easy for the Cuenca team but wickets are falling pressure does funny things to you though and uh, although it seems on paper an easy equation when you're out there you just come in after the fall of a wicket pressure's on fielders just that little bit more alert that little bit more on their toes and it takes a bit of character to to play naturally in that situation, particularly if you're if you're a young player. And uh, that's encouraged a few more songs. No, it's been an exciting game, isn't it? There's been an ebb and a flow to it. Uh, one as soon as one team's gone on top, the other team has come back. And then the other teams come back in again, and the, I think um, it's been a seesaw type of game. Yeah, exactly. And I think I think they're the kind of games that uh, viewers want to see. You know, there's a bit of drama. Not one team just steamrolling another team, but and Mawson continues. And that is a beautiful. This is uh, inspired. This is a little bit quicker actually. Just went past the uh, just short of a good length, and batsman just fenced at it and missed it. There's a slip in. It's interesting that they've actually brought the slip now than when earlier on and the number three person that just walked in. I think the captain's obviously knows that he he had to do something. They were they were cantering towards victory, so. Oh it's a dot ball. There is some pressure building here. Well, there was a full toss on the outside and the batsman could yeah. have played anywhere, just bottom edges it, straight back to the boulder. Good to see the captain take initiative as he has here. The Joburg boys were, were a bit flat, nothing was happening for them really. And the captain said, Right, I'm not going to have this. If I'm going to go out, I'm not going to go out on a whimper. Yeah. And that's another wicket. And that's a this double wicket maiden. An inspirational spell by the captain. He's loving that. And as we said, uh, I had, did say earlier that one wicket sometimes brings two in this tournament. We've seen it, been a pattern. So it seemed like it was a great decision for, by the captain to ball himself and it's produced a double wicket maiden. Yeah, quite, a, quite a rarity in 2020. Or well, rarity in test matches, let alone 2020. But, uh, well, this, is, uh, this game has a swung back in favour of Joburg although still got some wickets left and there's not many needed well but as you know in, in T20 cricket uh, the pinch hits is usually better 7, 8 and 9 so it might just not be as good a thing as Joburg could have hoped yeah but uh, when you got a player like the captain he's got his tail up now Fired up now. They've just been in a, in a huddle, the Joe Bird players. And uh, what do they say at the end of that huddle? Well, usually the captain will be telling them, you know, body behind the ball, let's save everyone. And yeah, and the captain has gone to a bowler who hasn't been used today. Interesting, 16th over. 
Well, as a captain, I, I, you can't really just just let the game go stale and, and, and predictable. And I think um, credit to him. He brought himself on. What the expectation of the crowd now, isn't it? It's going to be a tight finish, whatever happens. And uh, there you can see on your screen the Saheti players and some of the Joe Bear players as well clapping. A little bit of a song. And there we go. Our ball of JV is falling. Starts off with the white. It's quite a slow bowler, but uh, swings the odd ball back into the batsman, and the de our deliverers worked well for him. A little chat to him by the captain. Don't bowl a wide, presumably, <laughs> is his advice. Um, and I'm pretty sure the line that they'll be trying to bowl to the batsman is, you know, just just by the wide line and just get the ball around there. Well, it's half of the best one to hit. And it looks like it just pulled that straight. So, so, quite a bit down the ground, two fielders. That's good, good fielding, actually. And they come back, they for, come the back for the two, should get there. Direct hit, actually, I think. But it's a good appeal. <laughs> I think he was in. Yeah, definitely was in. <coughs> quite exciting now. Edge of the seat stuff. <laughs> Had a couple of uh, slightly one one sided encounters to uh, follow on this. Uh, Tournament, so I'm quite pleased we got a, a dramatic finish where every ball matters and everyone's on the edge of their seats. Always it is the best, but the best games to cover. Yeah. This is the, the first time a game like this has, has happened, and more encouragement from the fans. JB balls, and that's oh, a that's beautiful deal, really. Past the edge there, claps from the. And now every top ball will be cheered here, like it's like a wicket. What's the translation of this uh, this song? Show Saloza. What, what, what does that mean? 21 more! Um, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll find out later on. Is that a catch? Looks like he's dropped it. He's dropped it. Oh, that was dramatic. Oh dear, has he injured himself or is he... Oh. And two the, field is still, the field is still down over there quite sure in disappointment or whether he's hurt himself <coughs> free hits the fielder is, is down and looks like I'm um, quite sure what's happened over there he's slumped in a heap bit of concern now for the fielder who's remained down after and that's the sub fielder actually <laughs> catch see him on your screen now Not sure what's happening right. he's getting up now he's the sub fielder for the head batsman so you'll, you'll be on next <laughs> as you can hear there's screaming his name <laughs> for his name So slight uh, pause in play while uh, the subfielder gets some attention on what looks like a slight injury while he tried to take that catch running round. And uh, as you can see, a lot of bowlers around the, the current bowler over there uh, giving him a nice chat. I think some of the fielders might, might have thought that they'd um, this game had got away from them, and uh, that that double wicket maiden by the captain just brought the game back for the just team. Just brought the game back, and now they've got a bit of belief back. I think some of them might have thought, well, maybe it's not going to be our year. <coughs> well, the fielders back up on his feet. And there's a change in personnel. Um, the field now moves to a backward square, while the Nolan is now moved to a half corner region. Well, 
and you can still still look a bit of discomfort. So, a bit of a pause there while the uh, field got attention, but we are back on now. That's a good ball. Pause Actually, that's well, a good quick little round, that. Good ball, and then just played with soft hands uh, out on the offside for a single. <laughs> a lot of smiles from the Indians, yeah? <laughs> As much as the game is in the balance, um, Gwanka actually have the upper hand. It's an all, yeah. Another double wicket maiden might uh, swing it there. It's going to be interesting to see when the captain's going to pull himself. Because he only has one over left, so does he does he himself for the last over, or does he pull himself now and try and get another one double with Maiden? Those kind of decisions you have to uh, make as a captain could be crucial. Good. Oh, that's a good ball. Another good ball. So two dot balls in a row there. Just uh, both of them went past the edge. And finishing up the over. So it's so 17 overs, the score is 5 for 109. So 17 required of 3. 18. So it's 18 as a runner ball. 18! Seventeen to tie, eighteen to win, and the captain does finish himself. So can he back up that uh, inspirational over last time? We got another bit of size. So Hetty, you're in fine voice now. They won't. Shabba! Yeah, that's a good shot. He pulled that behind scratch. Going out towards the boundary. Four runs. And that's the whole support from both teams. <laughs> Just too short. And uh, give, given that <laughs> he's no. got to keep it up, I mean, that's how he got the wickets in the last over. Why, why drop it short? Keep it up. No. If, if they can hit it, if they can hit it past uh, long on and long off for four, good luck to them. That's the attitude you need to take. And it goes on again. Shabash! It does not quite hit that way he wanted to, but it will be a single. Just got, got a little bit big on him. And so now on the 12 from 16 balls. <laughs> Because it gets better for the Wonka team. Shows this game we've seen all time. As you can see, the man, um, they've dropped uh, the, the, the brought up the man at long one. Tempting him to go over the top, perhaps. A little teaser. Pretty sure he's going to ball the quicker ball, yeah. And it's actually the opposite, the slow ball. <laughs> and that's the top ball. So now 12 or 15 balls. Come on, boys, come on! A lot of encouragement for both sides, yeah? Yeah, well, I think, I think uh, you know, t uh, tense finish. Come on, boys! Which is what you should in a good more. tournament, tense finish in a semi final. Something more! Well, it should be, really. You just got to, uh, from a supporter's point of view, you hope your side prevails. That's a good ball, that's got some that's lift. Another ball. He went for the ramp shot there, actually. Um, but there's a man there, so it's a very risky shot. <laughs> it is. I think that's what he went for, though. Just tried to ride it. And... So 12 and 14 walls now. There you go. Come and hit! Bravo, bravo, single! Get a single there as he drives it out. And they'll be okay with that. 12 more! So now I need 11 or 13. Put uh, long off back now. 
Bravo! Shabbos! Shabbos! Not only get the single, it's going to be a single, I think. Just um, turn off his toes down the fine leg. So now, oh, that'll be the end of the over. So 12 is left. Ah, oh, it's 11 runs to win. So 11 off two. You'd favour the batting team here, but uh, a wicket. Wicket could change things again, but uh, it's going to be a tense finish. Hope you've been enjoying our coverage here today of what's been a fascinating encounter between these two sides. The reigning champions, of course, Joburg and Goinka, new to the tournament, but uh, looking to make it an all Indian final. They, they'll be favourites from here, but only just. Uh, well, Wicket Wiki could be interesting. It is going to be interesting. He keeps Shabulana on the other end. See how it works. And that's a Yorker. Digs out a Yorker. So it starts off well. It's now 11 of 11 again. I just, I just wonder whether there's going to be a tense half chance. A, a tense half chance for, for Joe Bergen, whether they might take it or not. It'd be difficult for a new man coming in under this kind of pressure, particularly if it goes above a runner ball. So only five runs to win now. Getting quite noisy in it. A lot of excited fans know that this is a close finish, but that one actually the, the man was back and he took him on, cleared him by about a foot and a half. That's uh, fair enough. So not just five or ten balls. Five or ten balls and Joburg reigning champions, but is, is it slipping away from them here? Trying to find the ball in the hedge. It'll be interesting what ball it delivers here. And this. The umpire is off. I'm pretty sure they've lost the ball again, so the umpire is just going to get a new ball now. That is courage from the umpire. I mean, he's seen the long, the long one back. It's quite, it's quite a big boundary out there, and uh, he's just gone. Uh, it's in the slot. I'm going to go. I'm going to go through the shot. And that's the second time he's played the very same shot and uh, very same results again. <laughs> so. Uh, as Wayne explained, you've got a slight pause here while uh, they get a new ball because the old one is somewhere in that hedge. Going to be found by a hedgehog or something. So, and, uh, Joe will feel like the cameras actually slipped out of their hands. Really great start for them. One, one uh, strike away now. This match is going to be 45. And if this game were to finish tied, Gwenko would still win the game because they've hit more boundaries than Joburg. And the ball is hit. Looks like there's one run. So they come back for the second. The Not <laughs> mid wicket boundary. Four. So now it's four of nine. Because we have the fans singing the South African national anthem. <laughs> Maybe it's a lament. Bringing the field in now. So if they can pierce the infield, we've got a chance, although as we've seen it does tend to hold up a bit as it gets towards the rope. So Chobo could be hoping to get to the final because on Saturday it's actually the Freedom Day in South Africa. And that's also the day of the final. Well they go for runner, this is risky. Oh uh, direct hit might have gone there, but uh, So it's now three of eight. And this is, I believe, not a good decision by the captain to put the fell back. back up. As you can hear, the, some coaches of India are pointing out the fact that it's very easy singles can be taken. 
What's the batsman on? What's the batsman on? Is he near a fifth? Yeah, what, how many runs has he got? Uh, three runs more. That's good. I don't know. So now just two runs to win. Uh, it, it would be a shame if uh, the winning run came from an extra rather than off off the blade. And we did see that uh, this morning. Yeah. The Indians uh, singing the, and they've brought the the field in now just to try and stop the single. Might as well. It will be very interesting to see if they can get a a single here. Yeah. Um, if they can get a wicket, what will happen? But anyway, just two rounds to win, one to tie. Might get a wicket and then bowl in it, bowl wide. Ball is hit straight up in the air. And the catch has been taken. The catch has been taken, so that's just what you were saying there. What would happen if a wicket... And uh, the Indian players are holding their heads, but uh, I'd say I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. It's, they still have a one full over to go, and they only need to run. The batsman, uh, very disappointed though, he wanted to be there at the end. He probably wanted to um, be raised aloft by his teammates and having steered them home but he steered them to the brink and uh, catch taken by Jobo but uh, two required so so it's six weeks down the number eight batsman walks in this is quite a young man looks how many balls left in the over do we know One more. One more ball to be. Ball in the over. Just two runs in. And then the last ball. So last ball the over two required. Uh, the last batsman went to hit it with a. Might have gone through. That's, that's gone through. A and this is the winning runs. <laughs> and he comes back for the second. That's going to be the winning run. And the Goinka players are on the pitch to celebrate. And uh, the Joburg team are a little bit shocked. Uh, they've lost their reigning champions, of course, but they've gone out the semi-final stage this year. It's going to be an all-Indian final with Jane versus. Going uh, tomorrow. I uh, hope you'll be able to join us for that back at Masongi Beach. And Joba will have to content themselves with a third place playoff game. Uh, well played to them. An exciting uh, game for the neutrals. My co commentator, unfortunately, <laughs> looking rather disappointed. Uh, him being being involved in the coaching setup for Joburg. But uh, exciting finish. I think it was enjoyed by the neutrals. Uh, really was good to hear from the Indian and South African ambassadors too hope you've enjoyed our coverage here from the beautiful marina ground and till tomorrow from Wayne and myself we'll say good afternoon
Thank you.